Hello and welcome to the channel. We're back here on our Easy Start 2 map. I made a few changes after the large video we did on setting up the O2 system and ceiling here. And I wanted to quickly cover those to bring you up to speed. Okay, first what we've done here on the front tower is we glassed in the exterior of the large cargo container there. And in this previously open bay we put a vent, a panel, and of course we've sealed it. That's pretty much that for the front tower. Next, what we have here is on the actual hangar bay here, we put in three window sets, two on this side, I guess we'll call that the back side, and then one on the front, as well as putting in a side door to make it easier to get in and out without having to operate the main doors. And of course, we extended this platform slightly over to make room for that. I've cleared up the uh, hangar floor here, removed a lot of the extra cargo containers and small reactors that were on either side of the stairs and over here on this staircase, since they were not connected to anything. Uh, this is pretty much the only freestanding small cargo container in the area, and we'll probably route that. And of course, we went ahead and routed under the tower back to the main tower, which I'll show you in a minute. What we have here is the uh, seals for the windows. There's glass seals behind the vents and between the glass, of course. For each of these windows, there's a grouping command to close all three window sets. And, of course, commands to close only each window set one by one. So, let's go take a look at our tunneling down here. Uh, basically, this hangar tower was not connected by a conveyor system to the main tower, which connects the rest of the station. So we went ahead and moved over a conveyor system through here, read it under the bottom of the walkway, and plated it up with those platforms that we like to use. And lastly, we'll have to go to the main tower for this. It'll be easier to go through here. Since we had two generators set up, we needed a storage system for our O2, so we can store in excess in case those generators are damaged. And we went ahead and put them both down here. You can see I also replaced the uh, platforms there with the guard walls. So anyways, we uh, put the two oxygen tanks down here, and of course set up the stockpile. Down there is two reactors by default, two large reactors, and there's two large reactors up here. So they're pretty much just secure down there in a closed armored environment. Well, that pretty much will bring you up to speed on what we have here so far. And I plan on continuing the series on this map particularly to use it as our basis for upgrading with any new releases the developers have, on, hopefully on a weekly basis. We'll also include upgrading the ships, so I think we'll shortly start working on bringing the red ship up to code for our oxygen seal and of course that'll be a separate video so as always thanks for watching